so now i will be doing the next laboratory of uh, the advanced network technologies which is the network design uh, and a new riverbed project i uh, from the object palette i will be needing the application configuration and the profile configuration uh, in and uh, apart from this five logical subnets in the application def uh, definition or the application configuration i will set the application definitions as default what it does is introduces 24 new pre configured application definitions and uh, in the profile configuration i set the profile configuration as sample profiles it introduces six sample profiles or uh, here click on ok i rename the subnets as engineering the subnet for servers I will be uh, inserting three servers and a switch Ethernet 16 switch that uh, Ethernet 16 switch supports 16 Ethernet interfaces and the Ethernet server First, I'll be uh, first. I'll save it, and uh, first, I'll be configuring the servers. I'll go to applications, supported services, active. I need four new services. Web browsing heavy, web browsing light, telnet heavy, and the email light. Okay, I click on OK. I name it as Web Server. File server. This is a file server. I'll be renaming it as file underscore server. And for this one, I need file transfer protocol and file print light. The application supported services. Two services file transfer. file print light so click on ok ok and then save it again third one is the database server again in the applications i go to application supported services edit just single row and it will be database access light. I click on OK and then OK again. 
and save it. I have to connect the uh, Ethernet servers to the Ethernet switch. I will be doing that with the uh, 100 base, sorry 10 base T links. 10 base T is basically 10 Mbps Ethernet links for duplex uh, communication. Okay, and let's save it again. I go to the parent subnet and uh, I need to add components to all of this. First, I'll add a 10 based LAN, 100 based, sorry, a uh, uh, 10 based LAN, and uh, connect it with. 16 Ethernet 16 switch. I'll be connecting these two with each other using the 10 base T link. application supported profile number of those one and instead of engineer I will be selecting it as a researcher click on ok save again go back go to submit e-commerce paste it and uh, inside the attributes applications supported profiles number of rows one and instead of an engineer your e-commerce customer click on ok go back go to submit sales Created the different subnets. All I need to do is connect them. I'll be connecting them using the 100 base T. That is the 100 bit, 100 megabytes per second uh, uh, link. Since I use a 10 base T link, I need a link of a higher capacity. That's why I'll be using the 100 base T link. Uh, I'll select. So node 1 is the switch here and uh, node 0 is the switch here. So what I need to do is connect the switches with each other using the 100 base TV. So uh, I will use node 0 and here we will node 1. Okay. Same here, node 1. Zero. Click on OK. One and zero. OK. No one and no zero. OK. Click on save. Verify. So this is our network. It, it 
is connected to node 0 inside of node 0 which is a router inside the server's subnet we go back and see it is connected to the router or the switch over here in the engineering network subnet here in the switch in the uh, research subnet to the switch again in the research subnet and to the switch node 1 in the sales subnet let's save it now I choose the statistics which are to be shown go to global statistics HTTP and page response time select the page response time click on ok for half hour right. so I'll go to results browser and uh, the page response is plotted over here Changed it to the average value in time. So this uh, represents the HTTP response time in seconds of the network that we have created. Now I will be creating a duplicate scenario of this one and. Uh, Changes we will be making is that is that I will select all the hundred base T links and click on the edit attributes. They are the ones option. Click on traffic information row zero and basically. Uh, the profile as this one click on ok apply to all selected objects click on ok yes run the simulation Let's browse and view the results for both the simulations. I'll overlay statistics and use the average. So there's a slight mismatch between the two statistics. That's it.